Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative, JDAI. And we're really pushing that, that that should be the model that counties start adopting. In August, they released a report showing dramatic results, reducing recidivism, increasing the cost effectiveness of programs by keeping kids in community-based alternatives to detention and keeping kids out of detention in the first place. And it's a model that was created by the Annie E. Casey Foundation, which has been adopted throughout the uh, nation in other states. And this year, Judge Hartman has arranged for some pilot projects in particular counties. And I think that's really going to be where we find a real difference. So it's actually a very innovative approach where you have the private foundation, private dollars, government, and local communities working together on behalf of their kids and communities. Jail certainly is needed in certain circumstances, but you really want to reserve hardware secure facility detention for serious violent crime. There are fabulous indigenous community-based programs around the country, and we need to be promoting those and supporting those. And those are private community-based programs, and they're great, and we need to be uh, on board with them. The cost of putting them in jail is, is quite a bit more than uh, uh, a day out skiing a month. Recently, I was in court and the estimate given was $300 a day to maintain a child in a particular facility. Uh, but you can run a very effective alternative program for $35 a day or less, in fact, wow. much less. So there's a huge cost savings. Teens are into risk taking and adrenaline and that kind of thing and we try to teach them that you don't have to break the law to get that powerful rush of adrenaline. I found all these businesses out there that are willing to take these kids in and um, we make it youth centered so um, the, the kid that's real interested in automotive motive stuff um, he can do his community service hours around that shop. September 2012 prosecuting attorney Richard Bowling said it's one of the better bangs for your buck that you can get in terms of crime prevention. This just helps them get out and uh, enjoy the outdoors of Wyoming. And